So I know that finding the right hashtags for your account on Instagram can be very difficult to do, but it doesn't have to be that way. And today I'm gonna show you and walk through how you can go about finding the right tags to help you grow on Instagram using my favorite Instagram hashtag research tool, Flick. Flick is a tool that I use all the time for myself, for clients' accounts, and I recommend it all the time. And I've actually made videos in the past walking through how to use it, but they have updated their whole system. It looks far more cleaner. It operates far smoother. So I figured I would do an updated walkthrough of all that Flick has to offer so that you can see if it's the right choice for you. And if it is, show you how to use it to its maximum efficiency or potential, whatever word you wanna to attach to it. So let's get right into it. Let's hop into my computer and walk through all that Flick has to offer as an Instagram hashtag research tool. Let's do Awesome, so we're into my computer right now and this is what you'll see once you are inside of Flick. And to do this, to see what you see in front of you, you're first gonna have to create a Flick account and then connect it to your Instagram account, which then allows all of this magic to happen in terms of the different tools that they give you to really make great decisions on Instagram. If you don't have a Flick account, but you wanna follow along with this video, don't fret. Use the link down below in the description box or pinned comment of this video and you can get yourself a free week trial of all of their services so you can try for yourself all the things I'm gonna highlight and walk through here today. So once you've done that, Flick can then start collecting a bunch of information on your account that will help give you specific advice as to how to better leverage hashtags and better leverage Instagram in general, which will make more sense in a moment here as we walk through. So this is the front page that you're gonna get to once you sign up for Flick. So it's gonna show you a few different things right here in front of you. So you're gonna see recently ranked on tags. It's pretty self-explanatory. Your top performing hashtags, which Flick is able to track, which is one of the biggest issues with Instagram hashtags in general, because over on Instagram, they'll show you how many impressions came from hashtags, but they don't say which hashtags they came from, making it far more difficult for you to decide what to use versus what not to use. And then it'll also track the hashtags that you've used. So I've used 128 total. So over here, there's notifications. And here is where Flick will send you updates on how your account is performing and how specific content is doing. And then the tags on that content, which is awesome. So we're going to walk through in a moment how to actually find the right hashtags. But right here below, you're going to see your collections. And this is another huge tool that makes Flick so worthwhile to use is because oftentimes it can be a little difficult to store hashtags after you've done all this time to find them. So Flick makes it far easier to find the right tags for your account, but also to save them for future use. And also these are dynamic lists. So what that means is that you can always change the title of these as well as the tags included. They're not stuck or fixed. It is completely up to you. So if something's not working anymore, you can remove it from the collection and move forward. But it makes a great way to separate your tags and make them very easy to find again in the future. So let's start doing some hashtag research since that's probably why you heard a flick and that's why you're watching this video. If you just tap the search bar right here, it's gonna populate a few things for you. So it'll show you recent. So these are the ones that I've looked up in the past. I don't know why I was looking up knobs, but, but this is your previous keyword terms or hashtag searches. And then also Flick will start to do some suggested searches based off of your specific account. And that's another reason why Flick's so awesome is that a lot of the suggestions that they're making for you is based off of the performance of your account as well as Instagram at large. So they wanna give you the best opportunity to make the best decisions to get the most success from hashtags and from Instagram. Because if you do that, you're gonna stick with the service. So they want you to win because then they win in turn too. So in addition to the recent and suggested searches, you can also activate filters when you're doing your hashtag research. So here you can do smart filters, which is again, specific to your account and the data that they've collected on your specific account, which gives you the best opportunity for these tags that they recommend to be suitable for your account, giving you the best opportunity to rank on the tag and then get the benefits of ranking on the tag, meaning more people finding your content, more targeted people finding your content and bringing more people over to your page to then follow. And you can also set custom filters, which we'll walk through in a minute here as well. So let's start by doing some very broad research. Let's start with entrepreneurship because over on my page, I do a lot of entrepreneurship quotes, helping entrepreneurs get in the right mindset as well as more tactical things as well. So entrepreneurship is a very broad hashtag that does apply to most of my content. So you're gonna wanna start with something broad, but highly relevant to the specific piece of content. And for the sake of this example, let's say I'm talking about an entrepreneurship quote. So it is, it's related. We're starting off broad, but we'll, we'll narrow down and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So once you type in entrepreneurship, a bunch of things happen. So it's gonna show you some suggestions based on the primary search word or keyword or hashtag search term, whatever word you wanna to attach to it. And it's gonna break it down like this. There's low competition tags, medium competition tags, and high competition. And it is exactly what it sounds like. So these different tags are gonna have varying levels of difficulty of ranking on that tag. Meaning that if you were to get on there, you're probably going to get more reach and exposure, but to do so is gonna be far harder. Meaning you're gonna need more engagement. You're probably gonna need some authority within that niche. All 
all those things that Instagram tracks to help make decisions as to what ranks where on hashtags. So when conducting hashtag research, I typically like to start with this approach. So starting off with a little more of a broad keyword and then using the suggestions as well as ideas that may come in to get a little more focused as you move along with making your group. And when putting a group together, you're gonna wanna use a mix of low competition, medium competition and high competition tags. And the mentality here is just to use the momentum that you get from the low competition tag, then have a higher chance of ranking in the medium and then the high. I call it climbing the ladder. It's essentially just trying to build momentum for yourself to give yourself the best opportunity to get as much as possible from hashtags. So once you've started this process, let's just start putting a group together. So let's do, so I don't like any of those low competition tags. So we'll keep moving. Entrepreneur thing. Let's do entrepreneurship, CEO mindset, entrepreneur life, etc. Go getter. Okay. And once you click them, they then get selected. And this is where you can then either do a few different things. You can save to a collection, which we'll do in this video, or you can just copy to a clipboard, which will do exactly as it sounds. You can copy and then paste it later, or you can audit the selection, which we'll do in a second here. And this is a very powerful tool that you're definitely going to want to use every time you do hashtag research. So let's say again, for this example, I'm doing a quote. So let's say growth mindset. And here are some more tags. And I like some of these a little bit better. So growth mindset, teacher, growth mindset, books, growth mindset, believers. And again, when you're going through this, you want to try to find a group of low, medium and high competition tags. And you want to try to get as close to 30 hashtags as possible when doing this, but you never want to sacrifice relevancy. So all of these tags that I'm using across low, medium and a high, they should be very relevant to my niche and the specific piece of content that we're using them on. So even if you are in a pretty specific niche, there will be some varying sub niches within your content. So not all of your content should be using the exact same tags every single time. And that's why Flick can make this whole research process so much more valuable and as well as far easier for you to do across all of your different kinds of content. So for this example, I'm doing a growth or an entrepreneurship type quote. And that's why I'm mixing these different kinds of niches together because they're still highly, highly relevant. I wanted to make a note of that because relevancy is so key when you're putting tags together. So let's do some more high competition. We'll do growth mindset, dream bigger, building an empire, goal diggers, business building, empowering goal getters, know your worth. So far in this grouping, there's a ton of high competition tags and you want to try not to go too overboard with just high competition tags because these are going to be very, very competitive. The issue is that these are typically the first phrases that come to mind, but that's also why they're so competitive is everyone is easily thinking of these. So why Flick is a huge tool for you is it's going to help you find some more of those medium and low competition tags and actually tell you right specific to your account that this is a low and a medium tag for you to then include. So at this point, I've already used a ton of high. So let's start sprinkling in some medium and some low to really round out this group. So let's do growth mindsets, growth mindset, legacy building. And let's do another keyword here just to get some more examples. So let's do entrepreneurship quotes. And another reason why Flick's hashtag research tool is so time effective is because it allows you to navigate very quickly through all of the different keywords that you've searched up. So you're not going to lose any of the suggestions that they previously had for you. So right here, we have some more suggestions. So let's just do some more entrepreneurship quotes with a heart. Let's do some more medium ones. The hustle is real. Entrepreneurship quote, entrepreneur lifestyle. So now we have 21. Like I said, you would ideally want to get this number as close to 30 as possible with all very hyper relevant hashtags. But I want to show you a few different things here. So when you're searching for hashtags, you can also refine the search results based on those custom filters that I mentioned earlier. So you can apply smart filters, which is going to be totally specific to your account and the typical levels of engagement that you get, meaning that every suggestion is totally specific to you, which is obviously very powerful. But you can also set in custom filters based on average likes, total posts and daily average post count. So you can get very specific with the suggestions that Flick is giving you to help you make the best decisions possible for your specific account and whatever research you're really trying to do. So for my account, let's just put on smart filters right here and you're going to see that it will adjust the suggestions. And I typically advise people to use smart filters because these are totally specific to your account, making the suggestions that much more powerful because it's relevant to you. So after you've put your awesome group of tags together that are a mix of low, medium and high competition, as well as highly relevant to this specific post, there's two things that you're going to want to do after. The first thing you want to do is audit your selection. So once you do this, Flick has a tool built in that will actually audit all of the tags that you've used. And it will show you some warning signs for the tags that you have picked in that specific group that are highlighted at the moment. So it's going to show you a few things. So entrepreneurship is very large, obviously. And then these ones are very, very small, which you may want to substitute for something with a little more interest or a little more potential reach. And you may want to opt those out. So this will actually tell you to make a better decision based on what you've selected at the moment. And as you can see, the rest right here are looking good. So ideally, you 
you want as many in the group as possible to be looking good, but don't be too afraid of including a few ones that are very large just for the off chance that you were to rank on them. The potential reward, I personally think, is worth the risk. So always throw in a few very competitive in case everything goes your way. And then it'll also give you a distribution breakdown of high, medium, and low tags. So ideally you wanna get to a mix of 10, 10, and 10, but don't get too, too fixated on this. Focus more on relevancy and then get as close to those numbers being even as possible, but don't obsess over it. Relevancy is gonna be more important here. And then as you come down here, it's gonna give you a few hard hitting things. So 21 out of the 30 possible hashtag slots filled, zero banned or flagged hashtags. And this is something that Flick also helps you out with a ton is you don't wanna use any banned or flagged hashtags because it can put your account at risk. And Flick will actually just come out and tell you if you've selected any banned or flagged hashtags so that you know to avoid that from the group or the collection. And it'll also show you that four hashtags might not be suitable, which are these four that are highlighted right here. So once you've taken the time to audit your group of tags, the next step would be to add them to a collection to have for future use later. So it's very simple to do this. You just click add to collection. And from here, we're gonna go new collection. And then here you can customize the emoji that's attached to it. I'm gonna leave the gift because I think pretty sweet gift. And then we're gonna go with a collection name, which for here, I'm gonna say flick walk through 2021, just for the sake of this video. And then you'd click create. And then by doing this, it's gonna save all of them together right here for you. So then if you were to come home, you can see it's now been saved. And if you click to open it, it'll bring you to your whole group of tags right here. And then it'll give you even some more specific information to the competition score, as well as potential reach. And you can also see this within search. You just have to change the way that things are viewed within flick. So I'll show you how to do that quickly too. So in search, if you just click table view, you, it's then gonna show them the same way that you saw them over in collection. So if you'd rather see them based on competition score, potential reach, and getting a little more information specific to each tag, that's a way that you can do that very easily. Just toggle between table view and grouped view, depending on how you like to do your hashtag research. That's completely up to you. But let's hop back over to collections and walk through the group that we made within this video, as well as the different tools that Flick gives you to really take this a whole step further. So let's click collections right here. It'll bring up all the collections that you've made in the past. And then you can just click open that specific group right here. And so here, again, it's dynamic. So you can remove tags from this. You could add tags from this. You can copy the collection. You can really adjust this whole thing right here. You can even change the name of it and the little icon as well. But another element of collections that I want to highlight here is something that we talked on very briefly earlier, but it's the smart collections made from Flick themselves and the data they're collecting on your account. So here you can see hashtags used, which is obvious, recently ranked on as well as top performing. So this is gonna give you an easy place to find the tags that are giving you the most return on you using them. So this can help you really get specific with which tags you wanna keep around and which ones you maybe wanna opt for other ones to get the best strategy on a consistent basis. So that in a nutshell is how you conduct your hashtag research within Flick and then save the tags for future use. I obviously recommend spending more time getting very specific with your hashtags, but this was just a quick walkthrough for the sake of this video. And while most people know Flick for their hashtag research tool and the collections, they actually provide a bunch more, especially in the analytics department. So let's hop over there and walk through all the different things that they show you and give to you to help you make better decisions. So their analytics suite gives you a ton to look at and work with in a very easy to consume way. So right on Instagram, you can get a ton of different insights, but it's not the most user friendly in terms of seeing the numbers and actually figuring out what they're telling you, which Flick makes substantially more easier. And it's very growth focused, which is why I like it so much. So you can come see a ton of different top level views of your account in the overview section. And you can also change the time period in which these numbers are being populated from. And you can also get a breakdown of your latest post, your followers growth, reach and impressions, as well as audience activity, a ton of important metrics that will help you make better decisions. But you can even get specific insights based on every piece of content that you're posting from your main feed to stories and IGTV. It'll really give you a specific breakdown, all of the insights and analytics for each piece of content. So as you can see right here, you can scroll down and get specific insights and analytics for each piece of content. So it'll show you a ton of information like the tags that you've used. So I ranked on 30 13 out of 14, the engagement rate on the post, as well as reach, impressions, likes, comments, saves, etc. The really important metrics. And so as you can see right here, how they vary in color, this is gonna be low for your account, this is medium, and this is a great performer. So as you can see right here, you're gonna be looking for posts that have a ton of deep blue. And this is a powerful tool because you can then go look at that specific post and look for reasons as to why it may have performed substantially better than your other pieces of content. Again, all this information is very growth focused to give you the best idea as to what will work and what will continue to work for your account. And then you can also get hashtag tag specific information where you can come get a breakdown of the tags that you've been using and then all of this different metrics specific to your hashtag usage and the performance that you've gotten from those hashtags specifically. So as you can see right here, I ranked on 22 of the 34 unique hashtags that I've used over this specific period. And there's a ton more information here to give you a little more context as to how your tags are performing. And since they're tracking all the tags that you're using, they'll even group your hashtags into different tiers. So as you can see right here, there's top performance, mid-level performers, low performance, and then too early to tell. So at this point, you just haven't used 
use these tags enough for them to get enough data to really make a solid decision as to where these tags should fall or which in which grouping they should fall in. So if you just continue to use them, Flick will collect all that data and then sort them into the appropriate group. And then finally in the account section, some more top level information about your account and its performance as well as audience activity. So this is gonna be super helpful for helping you figure out when is best to post as well as where your audience is actually located, which can then also influence when you should post as well as the kind of content you should be posting, speaking to where the majority of your audience is. And this information is really important to know whether you're an influencer or a brand, because it's not just the size of your following that matters when you're dictating pricing for promos or shout outs or collaborations. It also matters who these people are and where they are. So it's very important to understand these numbers to get the best idea as to what you can charge or what you should be paying to collaborate with a specific creator. And Flick also has a reports option where you can turn this on or turn it off. And it'll basically send you a week update on the major points of your account. I personally leave this on because I like the weekly update on my account. It helps to keep me accountable and all the information that they provide me, it's very top level, really just kind of gives you a good idea as to how your account is performing. And it also, again, it keeps me motivated to get those numbers continuing going up. But this is totally optional. You can turn this on or off, that's up to you. So that was a quick run through of the analytics that Flick provides to you. But obviously you can see that understanding all this information specific to your account is really powerful to help you make the best decisions and also monitor growth overall. But Flick actually takes it a step further to help provide more context as to what these numbers are actually saying. And they do this by allowing you to compare your analytics to other accounts on Instagram of similar size. So you can get a really solid idea as to how your account stacks up to other accounts, again, of similar size. And they call this comparing feature internal benchmarks. And this is a recent addition to Flick. And to access these benchmarks is really simple. All you have to do is go to the stat that you wanna compare yourself with and then click the little arrows right here, which will open up more information for you. So the default will show you your analytics versus the last period. So the blue line is your analytics and the gray is the last period. But to access internal benchmarks in that comparison, all you have to do is go over here, tap down and click similar accounts. And this will then show you how you're stacking up to other accounts that have a similar amount of followers to you. So you can make a far more accurate comparison because different size accounts on Instagram have different experiences and different growth trajectories. So as you can see right here, I'm 1% below the benchmark for accounts of a similar size. So that also gives me an idea that I can up my game a little bit, but it's also gonna help provide some peace of mind too, because a lot of people think that it's just them that's not growing as fast as they want to. And then this comparison can help give you a better idea as to what is normal versus what isn't. And that's all accessible with an analytics on Flick through using internal benchmarks. Like I mentioned before, I'm a massive fan of Flick. I use it often myself and I recommend it to people all the time because of all the tools that we just walked through right here. And also, as I mentioned earlier, if you do wanna try this out completely for free for yourself and use all the different tools that we walked through and more, go ahead and use the link in the description box or the pinned comment of this video. Using that, you can get yourself a free week trial. So go use that link and then connect to your account and start going crazy with all the different tools. And that way it gives you seven days to determine if you'll use it and if you want to continue to use it. So go ahead and sign up for that free trial of Flick. You will not be disappointed. And if you are looking to grow on Instagram, this is definitely a channel to help you do it. So be sure to subscribe so that you never miss any future tutorial or advice video that can help you improve your strategy and grow on Instagram faster, attracting the right followers. And on that note of Instagram growth, two videos are about to pop up on your screen that will help you grow on Instagram. So go check those out. I'll see you over there. Peace.